Owen Thomas, aka Jack Jones. Welcome to Noise11.com. <laughs> Thanks, mate. Always yeah. a pleasure to see you, buddy. It's always, a, always pleasure. a pleasure to have the great guitarist with us. You've been doing so much uh, over the last 12 months or so. I mean, you've just done a stint with Noiseworks. Uh, you've been doing the fabulous Caprettos. And uh, now you've yeah, got yeah. Yeah, the Beatles coming up. Well, you won't be part of the Beatles, but you'll be part of a Beatles show. No. <laughs> a celebration. A celebration of um yeah. yeah look it's been a good it's been a really great last last year um nice to get back to some sense of normality with gigs and and um and joining noiseworks was a real uh i didn't really excuse me i didn't really see that one coming um and if you and if you'd said to me a year ago would i be interested in joining another band with all my knowledge of the the inter workings of bands uh, you know, I probably would have said you had rocks in your head, but uh, that's because I didn't know it was going to be noise work. So um, that's that's just been – that was a really wonderful experience. I got to play with, you know, some of my mates and some of my musical mentors. Uh, I'd never met Stan, uh, Justin Stanley, and I'd always wanted to meet him. I'd always admired him and his work and stuff. So that was great. Obviously, playing with old mate Stevens was just fantastic. And Balves, who's on this Beatles show um, – you know, oh, and you know, and then there's Russell from the Caprettos doing the Beatles thing as well. So it's all kind of converging into, uh, you know, like those things have wound up for the year, and now we're just going to do a couple of, uh, just a couple of fun, little, little fun gigs celebrating the Beatles at the uh, Palais in the yeah. state. But that yeah. I'm re- I'm Some so excited songs. about that. So yeah, yeah, exactly. <laughs> Well, it's That's interesting right. with the noise works thing, isn't it? Because uh, you know you had some big shoes to fill uh, in Stuart Fraser there, but uh, you and Stuart sort of uh, jumped around a bit in the Farnham band, didn't you? Were you did you actually ever work yeah. together in the Farnham band, or did you replace each other? No, we um, well, Phil, Phil and I temporarily rep- replaced Brett Garstead because you need two guitar players to replace that guy. Mm. Mental, he's so incredible. Um, and it probably would have been the same with Chet, but then, um, so Chet and I never, never, I mean, we did, we did do some gigs together early, like way back. Um, and I always had a deep, deep love and respect for Chet. I mean, we've known each other for, we've known him, you know, I first met Chet in the 80s. Before I was actually old enough to go to venues, <laughs> um, I'm you know like I met Chet during that. Uh, I I think the first time I met him was at the Palace after a Noiseworks show, when the Palace in St Kilda was still the Palace, you know, next to the Palais, um, and and I always just thought he was spectacular. Um, he was he just music was just inside him, and I always we. So Chet and I, you know, we, we did, you know, I wouldn't say that we hung out regularly, but we all, I always just loved spending time with him. And that was the other thing too, really that really what made the Noiseworks proposition so easy was that I got to celebrate my mate. Like, you know, people, it, when when you lose a member of a band, it's quite often very very hard to. I mean, they do it all the time. Like they go out and just get someone else. But it's it's. I I think it would be very. It's why it's why I've been so passionate in the past about trying to get Southern Sons back together to do at least one run as the whole original mm. group, because we're all still alive, mm. and you just don't know when. There's one. There's two guarantees in life, right? Um, and so you just want to try and, um, you know, when there's that catalogue of music, like Noiseworks has this incredible catalogue. So it was it was a real privilege and a pleasure to be able to do that um, for Chet and and to just look out there and see all those faces of those diehard mm. Noiseworks fans, you know. And yeah. obviously with, with Balbs and stuff and, you know, now we get to go on and do other things together and uh, we keep, we keep threatening to do a little tour of our own, like uh, with, you know, Balby and Balby and Jones. But um, 
we'll see if that ever ha- eventuates. But these these uh, Beatles shows are always just a great, they're just great fun and a, and a wonderful opportunity to celebrate. Arguably the greatest band ever. Yes. And an interesting um, album to be doing, the uh, Sgt. Pepper album. I know. Yes. And yeah, the, right. Yeah. And get your get your Aldous Huxley on. <laughs> <laughs> not not the original. See, see. Uh, That's fantastic, though. The box. I love that, movie. mate. Old school. Yeah, I love that. Look at that. That's uh, look that's at incredible. that. Yes. Oh, how good. awesome! Amazing. We got the poster here as well. Ooh. Um. Oh God! Yeah, look at those fellas. We've got. We've, We've got a hardcover book. Oh, bro. <laughs> Killing me here. Woo! Oh, yes. Yes. So Look there we go. That. Oh, what else have we got? Oh, we've got we've got the uh, Pablo Fair poster. Oh, my God. <laughs> and the, uh, oh, wow. the original insert. So there Look we go. Look at that. Yes, these these Beatles reissues God, they're doing. They've been doing one a year since I think Sergeant Pe- Pepper might have been the first one, and they're uh, up to revolver at the moment. But uh, good stuff, mate. Don't you miss miss? I mean, this is the thing that I miss about vinyl. Mm. I know that that's a. I know that's a whole other level. Like that's yeah. that's yeah. you know, but that's the one thing that I really miss about vinyl is just the artwork that the ability to continue the the artistic expression mm. through that medium because it's it's bigger you know it's uh there's more room you can print all the lyrics you can have photos you can have shots of the guys in the studio like whatever mm. it's just um now i mean where where do you get that on spotify yeah that, that's exactly right you've got the uh, two shows coming so, up in sydney uh, 6th of may and melbourne on the 20th of may so this is you russell morris steve balby and robin Lau. um who out of that lineup gets to sing with a little help from my friends <laughs> you the, yours, the yours you truly. ringo yep i got that one and You're the Ringo of the band. Yeah, I got that. I, I I put my hand up for that, and I put my hand up for when I'm 64 as well. Yeah, the two songs that I don't think anyone wanted to do, but I um, you know, every time I get to do one of these uh kind of shows, I always take it as an opportunity to maybe learn some new material. <laughs> not comedy material but you know Beatles material so it's like um, I just think it's always a great opportunity to, to maybe uh, stretch the wings a little bit and do something that and it's usually out of my comfort zone those two songs are probably outside of my comfort zone but I'm, I'm really excited about doing them too better yeah. start working on them actually yeah, but there is that little bit in the middle of the album when you actually play the vinyl and the uh, the stylus goes off the vinyl and just skips around the middle. Oh. That bit you play yes. backwards. Uh, do you get to yeah. that bit as well? <laughs> yeah, I don't think we're doing that bit. <laughs> <laughs> we should do it at the at that point though. We should just it should just be played. It be That's a there. great idea. Yeah, it should be in there. How do you, it should how do, you be do in a there. legitimate Sergeant it. Pepper album without the little bit in the middle? Yeah. yeah. Well, the big question is how do you do it without all the backwards masking? Yeah. We'll have to have that in a track as well. <laughs> I, these these are the things that you just. I mean, it's so easy to do those things now, like, like because of the technology, but they were so far beyond what they were doing. Like even making those records on four tracks. Yeah. Like just astonishing the level of creativity Mm. and forethought that had to go into making those, those records. Mm. Like just, it's, it's, what people don't realize is when you're making a record on four tracks and you're bouncing three tracks onto the one track, you have to know how that's going to sound when you've bounced everything down again and again and again. Mm. 
you know, you don't get to hit Apple Z. You don't you don't get to undo. Like if you do a bounce and it and you've stuffed it, you've stuffed it. That's it. Mm-hmm. You'll live with it forever. And um and just the kind of vision that you need to make a record like that um that way is just beyond what most people can what most people can really comprehend yeah there were two Crazy. extra songs that were recorded uh, at these sessions that weren't on the album penny lane and strawberry fields forever i mean obviously you can't do a 40 minute show will you be adding those sh- songs into the show as well? the, the, yeah those songs will be in the set um and there's also a magical mystery tour um, material and uh, some psychedelic, um, some so, yeah psychedelic uh, rogue tracks, rogue Beatle tracks that'll that'll end up in there as well. So I guess that you know having the orchestra lo- lends itself to that as well. Mm. You know, um, so yeah, there's there's definitely not yeah you're you're right. You can't just it's a pretty short gig. <laughs> if you just <laughs> thank you and good night, you know, and I'm like, well, you've, you've where's the rest of, of the show? You do have two of the fabulous Capretos in the band. I mean, you could be <laughs> the extra eight Russell Morris and and some stuff. See song. the real thing. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, Russell Russell's song, the real thing, would have been on the radio uh, at around the same time. Songs from Sergeant Pepper would have been on high rotation. They're not too. Um, dissimilar like you know stylistically studio that production that molly has done on the real thing must have been inspired by what george martin was doing on the undoubtedly undoubtedly i think i i would be incredible i would be shocked if someone turned around and said oh no i'd be like Mm. really (laughs) like it's 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 uh it's very evident like when you hear that stuff it's incredible i love i I mean, just to digress a bit, but I absolutely, that's, that is, I mean, because I love Russ. I absolutely adore him. And playing that song with him uh, when we do the Capretto shows has just been an absolute joy mm. um, and a pleasure to, to hear. He, sing, he still sings like a bird and, and uh, he's always, always um, just so generous as a, uh, as a human. He's a beautiful cat. Mm. Um, I'm really, really. Uh, I just love hanging out with him, just Have being in his presence. It's great. <laughs> um, not this year, I don't think. But you know, this is kind of when a lot of tours tend to go a bit quiet. You know, like things get a bit, a bit quiet now that we the summer's over. And um, so I think I'll probably do more uh, acoustic solo stuff with the odd. You know, I get the Monday Monday bash and Sunset Sounds on the weekend coming up. Um, a few of those kinds of things through the winter, and um, and then I'm assuming that come the end of the year, we'll all start ratcheting up again. It'll either be you know the Works or uh, or Southern Suns or um, or the Capretos. So, I mean, I love doing that gig because I get to play like with my heroes and I get to play their songs, which I grew up like wanting to be the guy that played those songs with those artists. And then now I get to be in a band with them. It's crazy. It's, it's mental. Yeah. It's wild. <clears throat> yeah. So I guess, uh, you know, the Sergeant Pepper for Sydney and Melbourne only, which is pretty unfortunate for the rest of the country, but uh, uh, they, <laughs> they, they, they get you in various other bands, as you say. That's right. <laughs> Yeah, well, good. It's going to be fun, mate. It's going to be fun. Yep. Good to see you, Jack. And you too, brother. Love you, mate. And bye bye from the producer. Bye, producer. <laughs>